Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the ASUS PCE-AC66 dual band PCIe adapter. Now I have no idea what the truck ASUS is talking about when they call it the world's fastest 5G Wi-Fi because to my understanding 5, the, the, the G denotation is more of a uh, cellular sort of wireless thing and there's nothing 5G about it at all because this is actually uh, more of a gigabit sort of class of product. Um, so whatever. And then it's, oh, it's not even, not even, not even that. Okay, here, we're not even done making fun of the packaging yet. So this is a fast networking solution, which is an abbreviation for fast, easy, and stable. Like that's not how, that's not how abbreviations work, but it's okay because as long as the product is freaking awesome, then it's fine. So it's, <laughs> so it can do 1300 megahertz wireless AC, 450 mega, or 13, 1300 megahertz, 1300 megabit per second wireless AC, 450 megabit per second wireless N. That makes it at the fastest tiers of both of those standards for a total throughput of about 1750 megabit per second. Now in the real world, you're not gonna observe this, but unlike one of the wireless AC solutions we looked at recently, which was a US USB based solution, this one actually has the horses to back up those specs. So unlike some, you know, I mean, think about it this way, guys, USB is, USB 2 is 480 megabit per second. What were the odds it was going to deliver 1700 megabit per second or 1300 megabit per second or whatever it was rated for? It's not going to work. This on the other hand, PCI Express, so it can do up to 250 or rather 500 megabytes per second using PCIe 2. Okay, it has the same class of chipset because it's got like actual power going to it. It has the same class of chipset that you find in dedicated routers and whatnot, which is why it has a beefy cooler on it. And it has a very unique antenna design that reminds me of Asus's little... So sorry, we had some technical difficulties with our uh, mic battery. Um, for those of you who have suggested that I use a lapel mic to fix the audio issues. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've been using a lapel mic for months. It was actually other issues that were causing it. You know what, we're not actually quite done with the packaging yet anyway. So power up to three times the speed of current wireless and standards, yup. Powerful two-way transmission gives 150% of the Wi-Fi range of generic client cards. This I believe, just based on the like uberness of all of it, um, although we'd have to try it out to know for sure, and bundled with extensions for the detachable antennas, and I'll show you how that works in just a moment. So, the AC1750 is ultimate and is suitable for web browsing, simultaneous downloading, HD video streaming, multiplayer gaming, interference resistant 5 gigahertz signal. This is important. This is more of a characteristic of wireless AC in general than anything else, but because it uses the 5 gigahertz band rather than 2.4 gigahertz, it's not going to get the same kind of interference from things like wireless phones and cordless phones. I mean, do people still have cordless phones? I'm sure someone does. Diesel's putting his hand up. Slick's putting his hand up. Either way, um, it won't, it's not as susceptible to interference from other devices that are on those bands. So that's uh, a good thing. Why don't we just put it that way? Although the wireless N should still operate on 2.4 gigahertz for compatibility. So you have two options when you install it in your PCI Express slot. You can either install the antennas on the card directly so they'll stick out the back of your computer like this and you can kind of orient them in such a way as you would like or because again interference behind your computer can be stronger than in other places you can put them all on this little base station that you can then put up somewhere higher or you know at least have it a couple feet closer to your Oh yeah, oh okay, so apparently ASUS recommends mounting it to the side of your computer even. So there's, oh it has a magnetized base, oh that's cool, so check this out. So I could put it on the side of our server, which would probably be a good idea, right? I'm getting a look from Slick, because the server hasn't been all that stable lately. But uh, there you go, so you could mount it to that with a magnet, you could just stick it up on your desk and sort of, you know, spread the antennas around like that. So it's got a nice long cord on it, it looks like about two feet and then that would plug directly into the wireless card itself. So I have high expectations for this card and we'll be using it to film an episode of NCIX Tech Tips. So I hope that whatever I'm able to show you is much more impressive than that USB card and more comparable to the wireless media bridge that we've used in the past. Thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look of the, at the PCE AC66 from ASUS, what I would consider to be the first sort of real AC client card, 
And oh yeah, it also comes with a low profile adapter should you see fit to use it. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.